Hello friends. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can create and download Excel files using PHP spreadsheet library. I have already created a video on how to create and download Excel and CSV files without using external library. Please see the video description for the links. You can also watch it at the end of this video. And this video is about creating an Excel file using an external library called PHP spreadsheet. So here I am displaying a list of users user ID, name, email, age and gender. So these are the users displayed in an HTML table. We want to download this data in an Excel file using PHP spreadsheet library. So let us do that. I have created a folder named PHP spreadsheet under XAMPP htdocs. Type cmd. Let me go to the command prompt and type code dot enter. So you want to open it in Visual Studio Code. So I have an index.php and what I am doing here, I am just selecting everything from users table and displaying in an HTML table. I have a dbconnect.php. I am connecting to localhost using root user and connecting to test database. There is a simple style I am using here. I am using a select statement to select all the data from users table and then using prepared statement I am executing it and in a loop I am just displaying all the data in an HTML table. So that is what in this index.php so far. So we will add PHP code to download this data in an Excel file using PHP spreadsheet. So before that I am just going to show you the database. I am using test database and there is a table users. This is the table I am using it. I have created some dummy data in this table. There are 15 rows in it. If you see the structure of this table, the columns are ID, name, email, age and gender. I have also created users.sql to create the tables and to insert the data. And there are some insert statement I am using to create the dummy data in this users table. So when you download the source code, you will get this users.sql also. See if I run localhost PHP spreadsheet, then it gives me the list of users in this HTML table. So this is very simple. We are just getting all the data from users table and displaying in an HTML table. Now since we are going to use PHP spreadsheet library, we need to install it. So in google.com, search for install php spreadsheet select this one php spreadsheet documentation click on this so if you just scroll down you will see about the installation so there is an installation command here composer require php office php spreadsheet so let us copy this go to the command prompt so this is the project root folder paste it here and enter. So it will install PHP spreadsheet library. You must have composer installed on your PC before running this command. If you do not have it, go to Google and search for install composer. You can select from here download composer get composer.org. So you can install it from here. So PHP spreadsheet installation is complete. Now if I go to our project folder you will see there is a vendor folder created here. Double click on it. You will see the library files are installed here. If you go to the Visual Studio code here, you can see the vendor folder. And there are two more files installed here. Composer.json and Composer.lock. So now if you go to PHP spreadsheet documentation, if you scroll down further, there is an example given here to create an excel file. So we will just copy this require vendor autoload.php open index.php and at the beginning just give this require vendor autoload.php if you see in the vendor folder there is a autoload.php file already there. You need to use these two classes php spreadsheet and excel sx these are the two classes we need to include. PHP spreadsheet and Excel SX. 
So first we'll check whether this select statement returns any row because if there is no data we don't want to proceed for this creating the excel file. So check first if dollar result num rows greater than 0. If the query returns any data then only we want to proceed. So that is why we are checking here. So we'll just copy these two line. So we are creating an object of spreadsheet class. Create an object of spreadsheet class. And here we are pointing to the active worksheet. So if you open a blank Excel file, these are the columns A, B, C, D, E, F, etc. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, these are the rows. So we'll first create the column headers. So this cell, if you define the cell here, this is A1. This is B1, which means column A, row 1, column B, row 1. Similarly, C1, D1, E1, etc. So first we'll write the header here. So if you see our HTML table, we have ID, name, email, age and gender. We should write the column headers here. So let us do that first. We'll use the method set cell value here. So let me just copy it here. Set cell value. Now A1 we have to give ID. Similarly, just copy this for other column header. A1, B1, C1, D1 and E1. And the column name should be ID, name, email, age and gender. So these are the column headers. Now once column headers are written, so we have to now get the data. And in a loop, you have to write the data here. And you can see this columns will be A, B, C, D, E. And the row will increase from 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. First, we will initialize the columns and the rows. So let us define dollar $row equal to 1 and dollar $column equal to 0. We will start a while loop here. Because in a loop, we will get the data and write in the excel we already got the result sets in dollar result so dollar value equal to use fetch associate so now we'll increment dollar row dollar row plus plus and we'll use dollar column equal to ascii value of a we'll use 65 so if you see the columns here a, B, C, D, E. So we'll use the ASCII value of A, B, C, D and E. So ASCII value of capital A is 65. That is why we have started with 65. And then we'll increment it to get B, C, D, etc. So this is for column A. Now we'll use set cell value method. We need to give the column first and then row. So we'll give it here dollar column and then dollar row dot dollar row and since dollar column is a number we want to convert it to character. So we'll use chr function here and then we need to give the value dollar value id. Similarly next column will be b. So we'll just increment dollar column. This is for column B and then use the set cell value method and change it to name and then copy this for remaining columns. So A, B, this is C, D and E. So name, email, age, gender. So first we are starting with row 1 and column 0. So we are incrementing the row so it will be 2 and then we are starting with column A and its ASCII value is 65 and then incrementing dollar column so which will you get column B. Similarly we are doing the same thing again for C, D and E. We have completed writing the data. So now let's see in the documentation 
so we'll just copy this two line now and outside the loop just paste it here so here we are creating an object of xlsx class then saving the file so we'll create a file name here our file name will be dynamic file name equal to let's give users underscore and we'll use a time function here dot dot xlsx so this will be our file name so we'll remove this save method so we'll use the save method here so now we have to give the file name here we'll create a folder here new folder output so we'll use this output folder to save our excel file give output slash give dot dollar file name so our writing into the excel file is over so we created a spreadsheet object and then we use the active worksheet and using set cell value method we are first writing the column header and then in a loop we are writing the data using the set cell value method only and after the loop we are just creating an instance of xlsx class and then saving the file now we have to create the download button so if you see here we have just displayed the html data here but there is no download button so now we have to create the download button to download the excel file after the table we need to add the download button here so if there is any data then only we want to display the download button so we'll just copy this give a div class equal to btn btn success we'll write the href later give download the excel so if you just refresh it you can see the download excel is there we want to display it on the right side so we'll add a bootstrap class here float end and give a margin bottom mb5 refresh it okay in the href we have to give the output file name so we have to give the output slash then the file name echo dollar file name refresh it so in case there is no data returned by the sql query we don't want to display the download button so we want to test it first so we'll change the query so that it does not return any data we'll add a where condition where 1 equal to 2 it will not return any data if i now refresh it so no users found and there is no download button here so that is fine let us remove this refresh it again okay so this is fine now we'll test the download part of it click on download excel file is created click on it so the excel file is created 15 rows are written in this file and we have id name email age and gender so if i see the output folder so there is the file created here so we install php spreadsheet selected data from my sql tables and created an excel file and then downloaded the generated excel file i hope this video will help you understand the use of php spreadsheet library in php programming if you find it useful please like and subscribe to my channel using this library you can also import data from an excel file to a mysql table the advantage of using this library is that you can use many excel functions and calculations while creating the excel file read the php spreadsheet documentation for details you can also create and download excel and csv files without using the php spreadsheet library you can watch the videos on the screen to learn more thank you